Welcome to WSO2 API Manager 4.0 Scenario Tutorials. This is a series of tutorials that will be covering various features and topics in WSO2 API Manager 4.0. This tutorial will introduce you to the use case that will be used in the upcoming tutorial series along with the preparations you need to do to successfully complete all the tutorials. Union Station is a major multimodal railway transportation hub. It is one of the busiest stations in the country and serves thousands of passengers a day. The train shed, platforms and tracks are owned by GoGo Transit and they operate the station. Trains are owned by the companies named Qantas, Coltrain and Railco. To provide a digital ecosystem, all four companies are planning to develop their day-to-day -day business operations with WSO2 technologies. These developments range from providing different kinds of APIs to external and internal users, providing real-time notifications, stream data processing, and integrating with partners and external systems, etc. The upcoming tutorials will demonstrate on how WSO2 technologies can be used to cater to their different requirements. Understanding the API Manager 4.0's architecture is very important prior to any solution design or development processes in this tutorial. The API Manager 4.0 has four different planes named as Tooling, Management Plane, Data Plane, and Control Plane. The API CTL, Integration Studio, Streaming Editor, and Kubernetes Controller fall under the tooling category. Publisher Portal, Dev Portal, Service Catalog, Analytics, and API Operator fall under the Management Plane. The Data Plane comprises Gateway, Streaming Integrator, and Micro Integrator, whereas the Control Plane contains the Traffic Manager, Key Manager, artificial intelligence capabilities, and the anomaly detection. This architecture allows the users to integrate different systems such as SaaS, legacy systems, message broker and event bus, applications, services, microservices, and databases. With the API Manager 4.0 release, the API analytics was completely revamped and offered as a cloud-based analytics solution to provide users with an unparalleled analytics experience. Docker and Docker Compose are required to try out these tutorials. Allocate a minimum of 4 CPU cores and 4 GB memory for Docker resources. WSO2 API Manager 4.0, Micro Integrator, Streaming Integrator, MySQL, Sample backends and clients written in Spring Boot and hosted in Tomcat server are required to cater the requirements. The solution architecture diagram illustrates how the previously discussed WSO2 components are deployed in the Docker container to address the requirement. Apart from the WSO2 products, the key clock is used as the external identity provider as shown in the diagram. Let's prepare the Docker environment to try out the solutions. By default, a basic infrastructure has already been created which can be cloned from the given JIT repository. Next, start the setup using the command docker compose up d. Please note that it might take some time for the setup to get completed. In order to view the logs, you can use the command docker compose logs f. The log entry data population completed will indicate that the server is up and running properly. Now that the environment is set up properly, we can try out the scenarios one by one. According to the requirements, the API manager should have three tenants for three companies and the GoGo Transit will use the Carbon supertenant. Therefore, three tenants along with the relevant admin, publisher and developer portal users need to be created in the Carbon Management Console. According to the requirements, the API manager should have three tenants for three companies and the GoGo Transit will use the Carbon supertenant. Therefore, Three tenants along with the relevant admin, publisher and developer portal users need to be created in the Carbon Management Console. For demonstration purposes, we will be creating a tenant for one of the companies called Train and a publisher portal user for that tenant. 
Admin will be used as the admin user password and user123 will be used as the non-admin user password. Let's create the tenant for call train in the Carbon Management Console. So in order to create this call train tenant, we have to log into the Carbon Management Console using the Carbon Super Tenant credentials. Once you have logged in, click on this Configure tab and under Multi-Tenancy Options, click on Add New Tenant. For domain name, we can provide calltrain.com. And for the first name, we can provide as admin. For last name, we can provide as admin user. And for admin username, we can provide as admin. Provide admin as the password and repeat that again. You can provide any email address here. And click on save. Now, let's log into this Coltrain tenant using the admin of this Coltrain.com tenant. Use the password as admin. So, let's create a publisher portal user in the main tab under the user and roles section. So click on this add button and select this add new user. For the username, provide API provider. For password, provide user123 and repeat that again. Click on the next button. Since this is a publisher portal user, we have to provide the internal creator and internal publisher roles and click on the finish button. This will create the publisher portal user for the tenant call train. Similarly, the rest of the publisher and developer portal users should be created in the relevant tenants by assigning the internal publisher or internal subscriber roles. Now the environment is set with the relevant tenants and users to further proceed with the tutorials. We can move on with the next topics. In the upcoming videos, we'll deeply analyze and get some hands-on experience on each of the API Manager features and the components corresponding to the use case requirements listed here. You can try out the discuss scenario from the link provided here. Thank you for watching this video and we hope that you have learned something new and useful. We'll meet you all soon in another informative video.